here's something I stumbled into, and this is kind of um, um, problematic at times. Depends um, by um, the software you may use. Uh, Softimage is built from the ground up to work really, really well for rigging. Uh, and this is, uh, let me just remove the, uh, the uh, subdivision surface there. Actually, just clicking plus and minus will add subdivision surface onto the element. So um, notice that I have a tongue in there. Uh, actually, when I had created this shape here, I figured, hey, it would have been so much more interesting if my tongue rolled behind my front teeth here. And uh, believe it or not, it's not too late. Uh, and let me show you the operator stack here. So Softimage is built from the ground up uh, with a really, really um, robust um, operator stack uh, system here. Um, everything that belongs to modeling is under here, shape, animation, a any um, topology changes you want to do after the envelope is going to go on top here. Uh, works really really well so let me show you what I mean notice that I have a tongue I wanna merge it with my face now you can do that with pretty much any software however at the end I just wanna make sure that I have a um, shape operator and a skin operator here as you can see which is also called envelope and soft image um, so let's go ahead and do that actually so let me just reset stuff not that it's important so let me go to this view and merge, animate, actually model, polymesh, merge. There we go. That to the tongue. Good. And uh, this is the uh, merge property page. I want to uh, merge all clusters, materials, and shape. Good. So this actually creates a new, sh uh, a new element. Uh, the original is there and I'm actually going to tell the original to uh, get deleted by doing that. Have no fear. <laughs> Notice that everything is well preserved. It's, it's as if I would have started shape animating and um, uh, enveloping with the tongue already there. Now other software I've noticed that will uh, add that as an additional operator on, on top so uh, be wary of that because you don't want those um, that operator riding on top it will affect your real-time playback so that's really important for me at least real-time playback is very very important especially when you're dealing with these kind of characters uh, actually yeah uh, speaking of real-time playback I um, came up with this uh, interesting uh, system to uh, rig the uh, eyelids so that I don't have to deal with deformers also as you can see there are no deformers there uh, that control the eyelids okay let's continue and that's work in progress I still have uh, some waiting to uh, to do there so let me continue with the tongue where did I want to go with this uh, there's my tongue actually I'm gonna stick it out of the mouth for now via shape so let me go ahead and uh, polygon select Polygon Island with the U short shortcut. Whoop, I can select this island here and I want to stick that outside of the mouth. So, uh, yeah, Control Shift R. Click U, it obviously remembers the uh, polygon cluster there. Uh, I will uh, stick that out of the mouth but in shape. So, animate, middle mouse click here. Whoop. Where is my shape? Don't know where that went. Anyway, shape manager. And uh, yeah, I'll just create a new uh, shape from my base shape. Uh, just call it anything. Junk for now. Uh, where I'm going to take, I'm going to select junk and just take the tongue and stick it out. Because uh, as you can see, I'm using a, uh, a vertex color map to kind of give the character some color, it makes it more interesting. I'm, I'm kind of simulating subsurface scattering here uh, on the cheeks too a little bit and I made the uh, lips red here so let me just call the um, the tool for drawing uh, painting on vertices property paint vertex color tool. Whoop, let me go to shape and call on this one. Actually, I'll go to animate and just 
move the slider as such. Notice the tongue will go in and out. Okay, so um, I'm just doing this so I can paint here easily. So I forgot what the shortcut is for paint map, paint vertex color tool, shift W. I'll also call control W and I want to just paint in red here. So I, in symmetry and opacity full blast. Here we go. Okay. Done. Okay, let's stick the tongue where it belongs. zero good so um, yeah uh, so where do I want to go with this so uh, here we go let me call the LDTH and it's as simple as uh, here's my tongue um, I can go to the shape again there it is and now I need to edit my tongue since it's uh, uh, part of the same cluster uh, actually, let me weigh, weight that quickly because I'm sure that if I rotate this, just remove this, it won't affect the tongue, yeah, and I do want it to, so it's as simple as selecting my polys that are already there and choosing select adjacent vertices, select adjacent uh, points actually. There we go, and tell those points to be locally reassigned Shift R, to this element, right? So, let me tag it again. Here we go. So, animate envelope, reassign locally to this. Okay, so now without a doubt, that will move with the jaw controller. Good. Um, now, uh, yeah, so let's um, go to the shape under create select those uh, that poly uh, loop there Oop. make it bigger perhaps use uh, proportional to move it with the R you can modify the range and the uh, range on the proportional and go ahead and rotate it if you want. L. I'm trying to make the L. There we go. So let's go back to shaded. Excellent. So uh, that's it. Now, if I go back to animate, uh, actually, I'll go here and uh, just move the slider back and forth. Notice the tongue will go into its in initial position. So I need to do, uh, I need to do the same thing. Notice the tongue uh, for pretty much all my other shapes. So uh, which other shape? Uh, assuming the so assuming for the O, I want to hardly see the tongue curl downwards a little bit. Then I'll simply go to the O here. The workflow is pretty uh, solid. It's pretty fast too. So um, yeah. So essentially, I would go to the O and um, move the tongue as such, and that's it. Pretty fast. Pretty uh, robust. Works really well for rigging. That's it.